Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're going to do a collective read here. It's a general read. Uh, today's date is Sunday, July 24th, 2022. So I'll just start off just to quickly go through it. Uh, I don't use the signs. I don't use the genders because we embody those energies throughout our lifetime dependent on the situation. So it's if this is your read, you're going to know right away. You're going to recognize the characters in the storyline. So take what, uh, take what fits and toss the rest, okay? Remember that not every read is going to be for you. It is a general reading. So you have to use your discernment. Uh, if I use the he and she pronoun, it's because it's on the cards and it helps keep it straight in my head. No other reason. If you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Help this channel grow. I really, truly appreciate it. And uh, what else? I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. It's a rainy day. It's just one of those days. Ugh. So, anyways, I hope you had a great weekend, you guys. I had a good one. Not bad, not bad. So let's start the read, shall we? Okay, that was quick. The word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty, card number 43. So that's the seven in, in tarot, which is the chariot. So there's maybe some awareness going on, some radical acceptance, taking control of a situation, using restraint, um, structure discipline so you might you might be getting some communication today some praise or some dishonesty i guess it could go either way or both right let's see where this goes you could be somebody could be recording something here uh, taking note huh i just heard somebody was somebody spying and taking notes i don't know what that's all about word lord card number 43 please Add some clarity to this, please. Why is the word Lord here, please? This also could be moving, could be traveling, leaving things behind, moving forward with something. Maybe you're an author. I don't know. A poet. Could be writing something. Paradise. No, that's too many. Sorry. Word Lord, please. Card number 43. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. I hope not. Um, please be extra safe out there, guys. There's a lot of uh, bad people out there, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to bring out the tarot cards now. I'll give you the descriptions of each and every card. Uh, their interpretation as well as what I pick up intuitively, because I am highly intuitive. Uh, I feel the energy, right, uh, of whomever is being discussed in these readings. So... Um, I care. I, thank you very much. Somebody mentioned yesterday that I sounded down in the dumps or something like that. No, I'm fine. It's just the energies I pick up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't want to upset you or get you, make you worried. But yeah, it's just the energies. Okay. Once I get, once the read is over, I'm fine. Um, that's just the way it goes, I suppose. Right. The word Lord. Forty-three and stabbed in the back. Why is this here, please? For the collective, what would you like the collective to know, please? Spirit guides, party angels, ancestors, the white light. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, first card up, High Priestess in Reverse. Oh, oh. Mm, somebody could be speaking some truths now, right? Some secrets are coming out. Um, this could also mean that somebody gave somebody some poor advice, poor guidance, um, lacking awareness, um, not tapping into their intuition. It could also be a, a, a dark high priestess, somebody that works with the dark arts. I use that term very loosely because I, I don't think it's an art at all. So bottom of the deck, four pentacles in reverse. Somebody's letting go, releasing, opening up maybe. Hmm opening up, releasing, maybe spell work here, Queen of Wands in reverse. Maybe they're scared, I don't know. Why is the High Priestess in reverse here for the collective, please, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, thank you. Okay, so somebody lied, somebody could have targeted someone, Page of Swords in reverse, there could be some, uh, a delay in communication. Um, they could have lied, they were jealous and petty and cruel, bullies. Big ego, spreading lies, rumor, gossip, and slander, possibly. That's not a nice person, okay? 
Queen of Wands. Now she's in the upright. So they could have targeted this Queen of Wands for some reason who's independent. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Remember, it could be all these descriptions, some are one, okay? If it doesn't make sense, it just means it's not part of your story. Leave it alone for somebody else, okay? But they could have targeted and or did something horrible here to this Queen of Wands in the upright. Who stands in their power. They're very, you know, they're very independent, very um, confident people. They know thyself. That rod is, is power here. See the size of that rod. Um, male or female could be very alluring and sexy and charming. Bold and fierce and fearless. They're a warrior, right? Now, they did something to harm this person, Five of Swords in the Upright, out of jealousy and out of, um, out of pride and ego. Petty. It's, again, it's a petty card. It's a bully card, right? Going to, going to extreme lengths to hurt somebody, right? But in the end, the Five of Swords means that, you know, it's a shallow victory because in the end, they just wound up hurting themselves doing this. Queen of Wands in the Upright. Why is she here, please? Waiting, seven of pentacles in the upright, waiting to, to harvest something. Um, Queen of Wands or someone was persisting until they got a desired effect, uh, desired outcome, I should say. Seven of pentacles, this could be an investment. Um, something was done behind her back, I, I see. Maybe um, waiting for test results, some, some evidence. Somebody could be slowly pillaging. <laughs> Behind her back, I say her because it, it's on the card. It could be a male, though. This person and their hoe were pillaging your money, maybe. Stealing when you weren't looking. I don't know. Take it as it applies. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's going to be some tears here. Ace of Cups in reverse. Uh, lack of growth. Um, no love loss. This is squandering of resources, possibly. A lot of illusions here. Trickery. Somebody was two-faced, right? Yeah. Somebody gave another some poor uh, information about you, some bad information about you. They were plotting and planning. Whatever this is, let's see where this goes. Okay, it can go different ways. I apologize. In the beginning, it's always like this. And then we bring it together at the end, right? Why is the Seven of Pentacles in the upright here, please? <clears throat> Or maybe, uh, I don't think so. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, they lied. Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? They lied. If, if you can see on this card, it's a bird of prey, right? So they were preying on you. Hmm. They put blinders on you. They were hoping, you know, stirred up some confusion in your life. Maybe they, they did do spell work to confuse you so you wouldn't see what was happening. They lied, right? You had lack of clarity here. No communication, okay? So if this rings a bell, whomever was pillaging, during the time they were not communicating with you, I think that's when it was happening. Yeah, bottom of the deck, King, uh, Knight of Cups in the upright. Could be a, a lover, an ex-lover, or while they were pillaging and, and, you know, lying to you, maybe they were at the same time showing you or trying to demonstrate their their support for you you know could be a big drinker see this guy's drinking drinking and driving but uh yeah they could have been like two-faced right pillaging and then on one side and on the other side trying to uh, be all supportive and loving and here's my cup you know what i'm saying ace of swords in the reverse why is this here for the collective please thank you we have the king uh the emperor in the upright they lied to an emperor, lied about an emperor. This could be uh, uh, any, but this could be the all four kings rolled up into one person. They went through the highs and lows of each and every king and learned their lessons and elevated. They 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 won this crown and this uh, throne righteously. There are, could be in a leadership position, could be a husband, could be a father. It doesn't have to be. It could be a female and emperor energy. It just means that you bossed up. And you make sound judgments, okay? You, you've got experience and you, uh, you're you a very controlled person. You could be overseeing something. Could be a judge, right? One, or an adjudicator of some sort. A CEO or something that makes good sound judgments for all involved, right? Huh. So they lied about or to an emperor. 
and this is the tower here. This is the universe coming in and laying it all bare. Something was built on a false uh, foundation, giving off false impressions and a false sense of security, okay? Um, whoever this is was getting signs and nudges from spirit to, to turn this around, to do the right thing, and they ignored it. So that's why this the, the universe has come in to tear it all down, right? Uh, they're bringing the truths out. So it could be an eviction of some sort. See these two people getting thrown out. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything, really. Um, but it's a profound change here. Bottom of the deck. Sun in reverse. Somebody's not happy. They could have kept you in the dark. Somebody could... Maybe, there was a big red flag here, but somebody didn't see it, maybe. Um, they could be ill. This is justice, though. They're not happy. Here's justice, okay? So justice is stepping in. Let's see where this is going, please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Where are we going with this? Please help me understand. For the collective, please. Where is this going? We have the emperor in the upright, the tower in the upright. There's definite lies here. No clarity. No communication, maybe. Emperor in the upright, tower. No, that's too many. Emperor in the upright, tower in the upright. Why is this here, please? Really? That's too many. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Jeez Louise. Do this one more time. Emperor in the upright. Tower in the upright. Why is this here for the flag, please? Why is this here, please? Queen of Swords in reverse. So somebody lied. Okay, male or female, like I said, they lied. Um, they could be very angry. I mean, the lid's been blown what off. Uh, it could be something that's very vindictive and very spiteful, hateful. You know what I mean? This energy creates havoc wherever they go. They're a hard energy to deal with. But as you can see, there's there's a butterfly in here. That means there, something's changed. Something's transitioning, okay? Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody was playing a lot of mind games. Could be a group of people. Doesn't have to be. But, um, yeah, a lot of mind games, uh, jockeying for position, uh, power plays, uh, competition. Um, whoever this is, right? You can see they're all finger pointing and blaming one another. But the, you didn't engage, okay? You um, took the high road. You picked your battles wisely. You didn't engage and you walked away. It could have something to do with a marriage, a relationship, some sort of a commitment, religion or or spirituality could have something to do with any any entity that oversees right uh this could this could have to do with a contract because the hierophant is a contract it's contractual right there were a lot of illusions and lies here deception why is that queen of swords in reverse and five of wands in reverse please spirit guides guardian angels ancestors the white light Okay, we got two again. Ooh, judgment in reverse. Wow, somebody did, someone lacked awareness, acceptance, and accountability. They don't want to be held responsible for something. They're not aware. They're not awake. They're not healed. Uh, they could have possibly judged you harshly, or they're now being judged harshly. Um, whatever this is, it's bad karma, okay? Somebody made some really poor judgments, and justice is here. Wow, for them to be side by side, yeah. Okay, so the universe is bringing in some balance here. They have the sort of truth. See how that person's looking down on these people like, I can't believe he just did this. You know, I can't believe people anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, really? You know, how low can you go? Right? Why is the judgment in reverse and justice in the upright? So whatever this is, some uh, wrongs that are being righted here, okay? Could have could have something to do with somebody in a, a leadership position, a high-ranking person, and somebody that's not so high-ranking, right? They do cross paths when it has something to do with corruption and or money or you know what I'm saying, right? The justice in the upright. I know, I just heard some it's involving somebody that should have known better. Okay, so put it that way. Somebody that should have known better. Justice. Judge, judgment in reverse. Justice in the upright. Why is this here, please? 
Wheel of Fortune. Wow, this is huge. So this is a universe that's got your back here. It's coming in. I think the universe is fed up. There's this change. This is the justice is here. It's bringing about some change in your world. Okay, you're you're, you're going to be sitting on top of that wheel. This is destiny. There was this was destined to happen. You had to go through this in order to 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 be propelled into a um, a future that was meant for you. This is divine timing as well. So something's ending. A major cycle in your life has ended here. Okay. This is success. This is protection. This could be travel. This could be moving. This could also be, you know, uh, online because it's typically a globe, the world, right? Justice in the upright wheel of fortune, please. Could be, you, maybe you're dealing with some um, club chasers, some gold diggers. I don't know. We'll see. Wheel of fortune in the upright. Why is this here, please? Thank you. There's Claire. Oops. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Is, again, it's balance, right? Justice is coming in to balance things out here. Um, could have been a middleman. Maybe has something to do with work, you know, payments or something. I don't know. Anything to do with payments. So one, see how they're not aligned here? It does mean balancing things out, but this person was holding back your portion for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Now they have to balance things out because there's clarity here. The sun in the upright. There's truth here. Okay. Big red flag, as I said. Uh-uh-uh. Bottom of the deck, we have the four swords. So somebody's take some time out to contemplate. They're heartbroken because they know they've somebody's been sitting on the truth for all, all this time, right? Because we have the three swords, which is heartbreak. And the one sword, which is the truth, right? So they've been sleeping or sitting on the truth for a very long time. Um, are heartbroken. They could be praying right now. It's funny how when people do dirty deeds and they get caught, they, they pray. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, they lie, cheated, and or stole, okay? Seven of uh, swords in the upright. They walked into a trap, I think. See how smug they're looking, not realizing. they. Yeah, they didn't, no foresight. They didn't realize what was going to happen here. Four swords in the upright. Why are we here, please? Six of pentacles in the upright. Sun in the upright. Four swords in the upright. For the collector. Let's bring this together, please. Yeah, a wounded warrior. Nine of wands in the upright. See how this character is looking at the other one going, I know you bashed me over the fucking head. Don't tell me you didn't. I know you did. See the blood on the, on the sleeves, right? This one's going, I didn't do anything. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the other guy. Nine of Wands, though, that's a wounded warrior. That's somebody that's gone through a lot. Nine, nine out of ten rods, right? That's a lot of wounding. Uh, overcame, trying cycles, right? Persevered. Hmm. Strong person. Strong-willed person. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. This is bad news for somebody. No communication, possibly, or something was stopped suddenly. This is not good news. Having to do with a family, a group, uh, somebody was scapegoated. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here. This is not wish fulfillment. Nine of Wands in the upright. What, why is this here, please? Thank you. Yeah, this is healing. Um, the temperance in the upright. Balancing things out. Healing. Waiting patiently. Um, divine protection. Divine intervention. Divine guidance. Um, you could be an earth angel, right? And somebody did this to you. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, anybody in that com kind of spiritual um, ranking, earth angel, high priestess, you know, um, hair of fence, anything like that, that's down here to do a job, the divine masculine, divine feminine, anybody that gets in their way, that's severe karma, okay? I'm so sorry. I should have paid attention. I just woke up not too long ago, so... Please forgive me. I'm not 100% awake yet. Um, yeah, but anybody that does any harm to these people, well, they're going to have to pay for it, right? There's heartbreak here. Three swords in the upright. <sighs> they done a bad patch-up job, didn't they? Seen through the illusions of breaking free from this toxic situation, whatever this is. 
the nine of wands in the upright temperance in the upright so maybe maybe somebody wants to reconcile they want to balance things out and heal or maybe it's, it's taken you a long time to heal from this i don't know temperance in the upright why is it here please yeah, you've turned your back on someone, I think, or something. They were plotting and planning against you. You've turned your back on them. You're prepared, three of wands in the upright. You have a higher perspective. Maybe they're going to send out some feelers to see if they can talk to you. They could be at a distance. It doesn't have to be, but this is... You're waiting for your, waited a long time for your ships to come in, right? Now they have to come out and tell you the truth. Seven of Swords in reverse, okay? And they're getting caught. They got caught. They they maybe conspired or something to do something. Or maybe they they followed through on it. I don't know. But they got caught. They, they pl plotted and planned against you. This is a King of Wands in reverse. This is uh, energy, male or female. That is in player energy. It doesn't have to be, you know, like sleeping around, but player con artist right they're a poser uh very egotistical very arrogant and conceited they bit off more than they can chew okay they're angry and or they're scared right now um could be a be, be aggressive i don't know this is somebody that doesn't know what they're doing they say they do but they don't okay they're not qualified to do whatever it's all about ego right all about their image Wow, this just came out. A hangman. It could be an arrest here. Rusting a karmic. Maybe this person is a karmic. I don't know. Maybe there's an awareness that somebody's in that devil energy that they're a karmic. Take it as it applies. I don't know. Three of Wands in the upright. Seven of Swords in reverse. The King of Wands in the reverse. Why is this here, please? You have the truth here, two of swords in reverse. So somebody's seeing the truth, speaking their truth. If they were mentally conflicted before, they are not now. Okay, they're making a decision. They're possibly letting go or opening up their heart chakra. They're seeing what uh, is wish fulfillment for them, or they're seeing that somebody's highly protected by by spirit. Take it as it applies. This is wish fulfillment, the star in the upright. Really balanced individual here. Okay, um, what they take from the world, they give back in spades. All right. This could be healing. You could be a healer. It's right on top of uh, a temperance angel. So you are an earth angel here. You're a healer. Yeah. The star in the upright. Two swords and we got a star in the upright. This is wish fulfillment. Um, you have strong faith. Very strong faith. Thank you. Yeah, you saw through the illusions here. Devil in reverse. You, yeah, you called out, you called it out, right? You saw through the illusions, you're, you broke free from this toxic situation. Something's going to happen quickly here, or somebody else is seeing through the illusions. Could be the police. I'm, I, I always have to say that it could be. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but somebody's angry, maybe there's the sort of truth. Could have been a hit and run, could have been a drive by. I don't know. Take it as applies. But this is fast forward motion. Like, Fast communication, fast action, okay? They want to return. They want to reconcile, maybe. Something to do with children. Um, they're, they want to go back to the past. They, oh, they could have went back to their past partner after you. Take it as a blaze. I don't know. Not a swords in the upright. Why is this here? They lied. It could be the cops coming in. I don't know. King of Swords in reverse is an energy, male or female, that is it, it, potentially a narcissist doesn't have to be it could be a liar right uh as mild as that although lies are not mild they do destroy lives i'm not minimizing that at all but in terms of their interpretations right this could be somebody that it's a pathological liar they're cold calculated and cruel right they use and abuse people could be a narcissist right they they lied they want to come back in from out of the cold or they have to recoup some losses this is financial loss here they could they could be in spiritual jail yeah, maybe they're out of money, and that's why they want to reconcile with you now. Right? Six of Cups in the Upright. Knight of Swords in the Upright. King of Swords in Reverse. I just heard this could be a dirty cop. Let's bring this together for the collective. Let's bring it too close, please. Let's see where this is going. If that doesn't resonate with me, obviously it'll resonate with some of you out there. Yep, something's over. 
It's a transition here. It's a death and rebirth, death of the upright. It's over. And you have victory here. You could be out in the public eye. You don't have to be, but you could very well be. This is Maybe your victory is going to be public. It could be on the news. Six of Wands in the upright. Um, this is victory, reward, success. You're getting accolades from your community, possibly. Bravos, you know? Something to do with the past, something to do with children. Or a past person here. There's going to be a new passionate opportunity coming for you. This is a gift from the divine here. Taking some sort of actions here. So Six of Wands in the upright. What, what's this victory, please, Spirit? This is a wounded warrior coming home after a battle, right? To the accolades of their community. This is wish fulfillment. Nine of cups in the upright. Oh, yes, it's wish fulfillment. Nine out of ten cups, right? They're, if this is a new love coming in or a new person, um, they're ticking all your boxes. It could be somebody that's famous. Who knows? Or maybe you are. Nine of cups in the upright. Yeah, good news is coming in. Eight of wands in the upright. Fast forward motion. Could be travel. Could be action here. And somebody tried to hold you back, maybe. So maybe somebody knew what your future entailed and they tried to hold you back. Trying to hold back a divorce. Trying to hold back a separation. Might be the uh, story we got last week or the week before about somebody wanting a divorce. But the ex-partner is holding them up in court. So they can't move forward towards an empress, right? Because an empress will not have anything to do with... Even if you're separated... An empress will not have anything to do with you because they won't insert themselves into that kind of drama, right? You have to be completely single. So this might be it. Maybe, maybe not. Knight of Wands in reverse. Why is this here, please? I need to wind this up. Yeah. I'm parting away. It's holding back. Parting away. It's holding back a divorce. Or holding back. If, ha is not, if it's not that story, it could be trying to hold on to their home. They could be losing a home, a business, some sort of enterprise and or stability or foundation. Okay. Yeah, it could be a divorce, right? A division of assets. Maybe it's not going so hot, so great, right? They're working on it, though. It could be a sale of a home, right? And something went wrong. Somebody got some poor advice, thought they were above the law. Maybe they, they did some sneaky crooked here at, while they were working on selling your home. I don't know. They've been stopped. There's lack of awareness, lack of uh, restraint here. Okay, but they've been stopped. They can't go any further. Yeah, poor decisions here. It's a one-sided deal, okay? It's all one-sided. Um, poor judgment. There's there's consequences to this decision. It could be, again, a parting of ways. It could be a divorce. Everybody's story is different, so it could be a parting of ways. But whatever you do with the lovers in the upright or in the reverse, it's a card of consequence. It could be a, po a, a bad contract as well, okay? So somebody's stuck. They're stuck. They don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to look at things from a new perspective. They don't want to um, cooperate or, co or compromise, right? That's why things are taking its time. Too slow. It's, worth, it's, it's at a snail's pace, I heard. They're dragging their feet, okay? Maybe squandering funds as they're doing so. If it's anything to do with courts and lawyers, you know how it goes. People are seeing through the illusions. Seven of Cups in reverse. All that glitters is in gold. This what there were illusions here. Okay, somebody's running out of time, uh, running out of options. Okay, they're grieving and regretting, crying over spilt milk. Okay, somebody wanted to hold on to this person, right? They were possessive. They were controlling. Uh, they they didn't want to open up. They didn't want to let go, because somebody has a new passionate opportunity coming towards them. A, a true gift from the, the divine. So it could be a king of pentacles coming your way and or this could be you. King of pentacles. You're stable. You're secure. You're successful and grounded, right? And they wanted to stop you. They wanted to block you. Six of swords in reverse. Well, trouble's looming here. Because they were greedy, s selfish. They were jealous, right? There's trust issues here. Somebody didn't know their value or worth. That's why they wanted to stop you. They were jealous. Yeah. Could have been doing spell work. They could have the definite deception here. Two-faced illusions what did if they did everything they could to hurt you to stop you five of swords in the upright this is embarrassing because yeah you're they didn't want you to be single didn't want you to be stable and secure here okay you could be a business owner an entrepreneur they didn't want that for you or maybe that's who's coming to it because they're they're counterparts right the nine nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles right they didn't want that to happen for you or 
I don't know, the word Lord. Communication, praise, and dishonesty. So you might be getting some communication from them and or maybe the law concerning them. Um, you might be getting some praise. It could be dishonest. I'm not, you, you know your story. Uh, praise, maybe you handled this dishonesty, this person's, maybe you handled this person very well and you're getting praise for it. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So this person went all out to hurt you, okay? And it's shocking, yes it is, because there's definite separation here. I was trying, sorry, the, the energies this weekend, um, I'm pretty sure there's energy thrown my way to try to stop me. You can't stop me. You can't stop these messages. It's not me. It's coming from the divine. It's coming from spirit. I'm just a vessel. Might as well just quit while you're ahead because you're just accruing karma. Sorry, guys. I'm just talking to the, the ones doing this. How are we ending this read, please? How are we going to end this read? Oh, that's too many. <laughs> How are we ending the read for the collective Holy spirit? Are we going to end this read, please? Thank you. We have time to go, and it is, obviously. Okay, from this, by the sounds of it. So it's 45. It's, it's It adds up to 9. That's a hermit, right? So there's discovery here. You found something out that somebody was trying to hide something, cloak something. You could have went within and did a lot of reflection, you know, tapped into your higher wisdom. Um, but somebody's walking away. You're just going to be a memory to someone, or the person's going to be just a bad memory for you, right? Once you walk through that door, your new life begins, okay? You see the stars, that's divine protection and guidance. That person's translucent. So they're going to be haunted by your ghost. That's what I just heard, right? They're going to be haunted by your ghost, right? Because you were, you were everything they were. They were low lives. They mistreated you, used you, abused you, obviously, or did something really, really shady behind your back and yeah they're gonna be haunted for the rest of their lives that's what karma is right essential meanings time to go endings completion walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience the oracle's message you're at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next this is the moment to bless your experience thus far take stock of what you've learned it's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being there is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in the, in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. I'd say, I think you have a beautiful destiny. So take heart, okay? Even I know it's heartbreaking. It's hard. It's it's what you went through. We all go through it, right? The struggles. But when you look back, when you finally make it to where you need to be, to to living in your true, authentic um, purpose. You look back and you think, wow, if I hadn't gone through that, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be in this spot doing what I'm meant to do. You know, finding my happiness, my love. So I know in the 3D, it's kind of hard to appreciate it. But in the 5D, you do. You will appreciate it. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.